Hello everyone, I'm back with another video, and in today's video, we're gonna be up against Northwood. Now, there's a little twist here. Uh, the Jaguar Trail, uh, oh, 70% win right now, it used to be 76. But anyway, um, if you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe, smash the like button, and ring the bell icon to be notified of any content coming out from my channel. So uh, with, that in, with that out of the way, let's go jump straight into it. Oh, and please do excuse my voice as at the time of this recording, I am not feeling well. I do have a runny nose and cold and cough and whatever. Okay, so here we go. Now the twist that I mentioned at the start of this video would be me not using any heroes. <laughs> yes, you heard that right? No heroes allowed. Okay. Kind of like the title of the song of the Mayday Parade. Okay, so yes, uh, we're gonna have to grab all those containers. Um, surprisingly, Northwood actually grabbed decent amount of containers. Additional supply centers here in my end, and I'm not gonna contest against that super container. And uh, I'm gonna be just, you know, being Tracy, uh, playing without a hero. Going HQ4 straight along with the uh, Porcupine, as I have like three units here to zone out a Seraphim. Fourth unit is now in production along with some riflemen. Okay, fast forward here. Expansion of the base. Rushing to Chameleon with the addition of another special vehicle factory for mammoths. Okay. Avia factory for either Dragonfly and or Halbatross Hawk. More porcupines here on my end as of course to zone out any attack coming from a Seraphim. I also hid some infantry around here to somewhat scout to see where that therapy might actually come from. Okay, so Mammoth, Chameleon, Jaguar Production, along with a Dragonfly around here. Okay, very good interception there. Got like five porcupines and a mammoth now. More mammoths. Going for albatross. Okay. Hawk now to scout. I see him spreading his Zeus around there. And uh, ooh, avia factory for a vertex. And then of course that airfield at the front. He has like eight supply centers with... One factory, two special vehicle factory, and an X facility. Let's see how this goes. I'm going to have to try and be annoying and eliminate some scouts here in this in the area. If we have factory level 3 is finished, I'm going to have to get into a formation. You got like four uh, chameleons and eight jaguars. More jaguars on the way. Okay. Mammoths being mammoths, trying to be annoying, attacking the enemy units from afar. Okay, those Zeus are now uh, going back as I try and advance to attack. Okay, now here we go with the attack. Ooh, -hoo. they're all force firing at that one chameleon at the front. Leaving some units here, a little bit of a window there. Uh, I'm gonna have to try and cover that. Okay, well done. Okay, now Mammoth at the back providing uh, firepower support. Additional, uh, oh, active skill of the Seraphim. Okay, ooh, ooh. Just a force fire from a Solaris. One chameleon is down. I did not activate this chameleon for it is the reserved in case both of the chameleons that the activated chameleons are uh, run out of energy. And again, the jaguars here are just for the front line. And the the mammoths are the hard hitters at the back. Okay. Both chameleons now run out of energy. I got like the reserve chameleon activated now. Okay. He now only has like one Zeus at this point. Okay, I got like five Jaguars. More Mammoths joining in the fray here as they are newly produced and are rallied across the map to the center of the map. Okay. Porcupines on hold position so they don't go Rambo. 
they're you know kind of stupid that way okay and again seraphim at the top of the cliff in there okay mammoth hard-hitting mammoths there man those are my hard hitters okay some of the mammoths or the jaguars has been destroyed porcupines are going to be revealed i don't really care at this point yep and at this point he, only, he has like a ton of typhoons i don't know why but he has a ton of them <laughs> okay activating the second chameleon to cover my spread out units here as best as i can against those vertex and the serapima okay so i tried to save my mammoths along with the porcupines to go inside the fog and uh, you know keep them alive meanwhile the solaris is coming back here however there's not really you know there's not really that much for him to do after okay albatross there's like two albatross that i got here and i'm gonna have to try and bomb that x facility still alive Solaris been destroyed after activating its skill. Cerberus jumped here. And now my mammoths. Ooh, just look at the damage of those mammoths. I'm pretty sure that building is not maxed out, but still the damage though. The typhoons are kind of irrelevant at this point where I only have like what? Albatross. He was expecting me to go dragonfly stuff and stuff along with that annoying um you know, along with the annoying wasp dragonfly stuff, so typhoons were not really, really a good choice as he made a lot of them. Okay, mammoths actually firing from the back here, destroying that X facility, and basically sealing the deal with this battle. So yeah, that's gonna be all for today's video. This is a no hero challenge. I did not use a single hero here. I guess a decent kind of player. All right. Well, if you like this uh, kinds of content with me doing challenges, be sure to subscribe, smash the like button, ring the bell icon to be notified of any content coming from my channel. Likewise, everyone, thank you so much for your time. Have yourself a great day and good luck with your battles. Oh, and don't forget to check out my previous videos as they contain tips, tricks that can help you win a battle. Thank you so much for watching. Have yourself a great day and good luck with your battles. Yay! It is Easton's. Oh, he gave me the art. The wall art. So friendly. I don't know. This guy thinks I'm a full pay to win player. I mean, I wouldn't have my super chat goal for my wife's baby delivery if that was the case. <laughs> you know, I'm not irresponsible as to spend money in the game and ignore the fact that my wife will deliver a baby. Lol. <laughs> Okay, so he's again, he's trying to just be annoying here and, uh, well, prolong the battle as best as he could. Lol. <laughs> Wee. GG. Bye now.